U.S. President Donald Trump held a press conference on Thursday and claimed that the American economy is doing very well indeed. Trump claimed that the American economy has recovered and added 4.8 million jobs in the month. The statement comes at a time when the United States is reeling under the COVID-19 outbreak. Listen in. Put out that the United States economy added almost 5 million jobs in the month of June, shattering all expectations. I was watching this morning and the expectations were much lower than that. The stock market is doing extremely well, which means to me jobs. That's what it means, jobs. This is the largest monthly jobs gain in the history of our country. The unemployment rate fell by more than two percentage points, down to just about 11 percent. We're down to the 11 percent number. We started at a number very much higher than that. As you know, we broke the record last month, and we broke it again this month in an even bigger way. This news comes on top of May's extraordinary jobs report, which was revised upwards, by the way, to 2.7 million jobs. It was 2.5. That was last month, and that was a record setter. But it actually got a little bit better. We revised it. It was revised upward to 2.7 million jobs. His cheering drew a sharp rebuke from presumptive Democratic nominee Joe Biden, who said that there is little to celebrate with the economy still in a dire state. There's no victory to be celebrated. We should hope, but there's no victory to be celebrated. We're still down nearly 15 million jobs, and the pandemic is getting worse, not better. It doesn't have to. 